Given the expectations at the beginning of the season, it is easy to be grateful for the Hawks record and place in the division standings, but there's more to it than that. Hello 12s, happy Thanksgiving. I'm Jen Mueller with your Seahawks Daily. And when it comes to being grateful, well, it's more than just the game day performance for the Hawks. See, just another year of, of being able to play football, but then also just another year of being able to get to know so many new people. Like just being a new guy here and everyone just embracing me like how they have and and really just getting to know, you know, the whole staff and just everyone in the building and it's just been special. It's been it's been real cool because for me not having changed places in five years, like this is a complete shock uh, to the system, kind of. So, just just to be so welcomed, you know, by an organization. I'm um, truly thankful for that. Shelby Harris was acquired from Denver in the offseason and infused new energy on the defensive line, accounting for two sacks, five quarterback hits, and four tackles for loss. There's also plenty of gratitude for fellow newcomer Uchenna Nuosu and his production. He leads the team with seven sacks and 15 QB hits. He is also having the best season of his career. I'm grateful for my, you know, my health and just being able to stay on the field for as long as possible to be able to contribute for my team and, you know, just being there for those guys and uh, just contributing any way I can. Will Disley is on pace for a career year. He's already set a career high in receptions and one touchdown away from matching his career best. I'm definitely just grateful for the journey. You know, my story's definitely not been perfect and, uh, you know, all the support that I've had along the way, not just getting here, but, you know, along the way, you know, in, in high school and in college through the transition, you know, my family being, had my back. I'm just grateful for all the people that support me day in and day out and, uh, you know, people that I love. As for the opportunities Will is getting this year, well, maybe a little thanks goes to Geno Smith and play calls that more heavily involve tight ends. And for Geno himself, there is gratitude for getting another chance to be a starting quarterback, one that he's made the most of in all statistical categories. But it's his presence in the community that many 12s will be saying thank you for this week. Geno hosted a turkey giveaway on Tuesday. Well, it starts with my mom and my grandmothers. Um, they all, you know, they've been giving back in our community back home in Miami for years. And, uh, you know, that's something they always implemented in me, you know, is to always give back, you know, regardless of your position or status, but to, to try and help, you know, try and help people out and, and be a, a, a giving hand um, to people in need or not in need, you know, just being, being a good person and, and helping out the community. When it comes down to it, there isn't much these guys aren't thankful for. Life. Just being able to live and be able to do the thing that I love and just play football. And family's good, family healthy, my teammates good, and I'm able to live my dream. So you can't get too much more thankful than that. The Hawks have Thanksgiving Day off to spend with friends and family. They will close out the week of practice on Friday and Saturday.